Hi, it's Mike here. I'm at the install today. I'm just going to go through a couple of basics of putting in a new cable outlet on a home that does not have a pre-existing outlet or jack in the house. So what we have here is I've ran the cable from the satellite dish location and I'm going to just show you some of the basics here. We have an outside corner and what happens is with vinyl siding or stucco, we have the stud on the inside here of the corner, which is usually 2x6 or 2x4. So we're going to measure back. We'll have another piece of wood there that would have the drywall attached to. So, so let's say that the inside corner would be there. We would want to make sure we're at least um, 8 inches away from there so we don't have any issues with uh, other wood or electrical. So I see here I have a downpipe that could be a hindrance I'd, or an issue. If I come drilling straight through at the corner, I'll go through the downpipe and we'll have water leaks here. So make sure I have enough um, room and I know the outside and inside before I drill any holes. So these are the basics I go through and we'll go inside and uh, go from there. So we've went outside, we've confirmed where we're going to be coming out with our drill bit. So we know that we have a downpipe there. It's about six inches from the outside corner. So this wall, is two by six construction so i'm quite confident we come in eight inches here we won't have any issues with any down pipes and now just to uh, added assurance if you have a, a stud finder go to the opening we know we have a stud right here so if i drill in this area here we have no issues with uh with wood and also we're away from the electrical or and because it's an outside corner there will be hardly any possibility if there's any plumbing in the wall as well. Uh, this room has a small pulling wall here which tells me the cement height is a little bit higher than normal so I can't measure off the floor 14 inches and drill in through my wall plate. So I'm just going to measure off here. I'll use a, um, in the box, the satellite box, you'll have some additional paper. I just lay that out here, catch the dust and I'll fold it up and put it in the box after I finish drilling the hole. So I'm going to make some noise here and put in the outlet and I'll show you how that looks afterwards. Hi, it's Mike here at the install day. Just finishing up the outside portion of this new outlet um, for the TV down in this room. So I'm just going to go over a couple of the basics here again. I've sized my cable. I've given myself some extra cable length so that when I go through the wall, I don't have a small piece to work with on the outside, on the other side of the wall on the inside. I'd rather have something I can cut off and possibly use as a reed, like a jumper or something from the dish to the uh, ground blocks. So the hole came out over here. I would have liked it to be a few more inches away from the downpipe, but so be it, this is how it turned out. Um, I have a little a bit of a longer 10 inch flat screwdriver I use just to make sure the installation is not in the way. So when I push through, I don't have any obstructions. So now I'm gonna grab the, the cable. And I'm gonna thread it through the wall. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to finish off and uh, put in my clips. Make sure I have a drip loop at the bottom here so that the water doesn't go in there. And I'll seal it with uh, either white caulking or uh, silicone. Make sure it's all there. We'll have a clip right here so that the cable is pinned so that when I push it back on the other side, it doesn't pop out this side so it stays in place. Okay, hi, it's Mike here. Just the last portion of this putting in this new outlet in this room, house. And I've sized off, cut off the excess here. I have enough cable here to push it back into the hall space of the wall so I can put a proper jack with a connector on it. Make my connect connection now. Compression connector. Make sure there's no braids on the inside. Grab the compression tool. Wall plate with a 3 gig F81. Wrench tighten. Feed it back in. Two screws, job is done. So that's Mike signing off on the install day, showing you how to put in a wall plate. Talk to you soon. Bye.